see them everywhere. Traffic signs are important for safety. They tell us when to be careful. For identification of streets. Where to go. Also for emergency response. And what to do. And in Jefferson County, there are a lot. We're up to 42,000 signs. Jeffco employees keep track of them all. Karen Hernland is the crew leader for the Jeffco Sign Shop. Today, she's making stop signs. There you have it. There are racks of metal and rolls of reflective tape. And with the click of a mouse, Karen can find out exactly where the new stop signs need to go. If you highlight a location, you learn the type of sign, what it's made of, and which direction it faces. And if there are any other signs in the area. This number here shows me that it's a stop sign, but there's also another number. I can highlight that. It shows me it's an all-white plaque. This new database helped Jeffco complete a comprehensive sign inventory. GPS units and then the geographical inf information systems. It just, these tools became available and it just became easier to use it. Now, technicians in the field who replace old or damaged signs know right where to go. They tag each sign with a unique sticker that's put in the system. So the county can be proactive about replacing signs rather than reacting to a citizen complaint. It's always good to have people watching, but this, I think this will help a lot to catch those problems before they become problems. Hail, graffiti, sun, and snowstorms cause some of the problems. With snowy or icy conditions, a lot of signs that are really close to the roadway um, do get struck by vehicles and knocked down. Now they're quickly and easily replaced, which is important to public safety. It's extremely beneficial. And more signs of progress? They're now made with a diamond grade technology, kind of a prism effect. So they're brighter and easier to see. It's like a honeycomb shape that's just highly, not only reflective, but retro reflective, that it will actually return the light to, to the source, to your headlights. So this is the older engineer grade material. You can see the difference. So what happens to all those old signs? Instead of throwing them away, Karen figured out a recycling solution. I started recovering signs where the metal was still good. I found out I could cover them twice. She then found a company that would hydro strip the sign faces in exchange for any scrap metal so Karen can recover them two more times. Saved us a ton of money. So I can recycle the signs and use them at least four times. Whether it's making them, tracking them, or installing them, Jefferson County won't stop until you and the roads are safe.